And COVID-19 cases are surging across the region, and one county in South Jersey is seeing a particularly high number of positive tests. NBC10 South Jersey Bureau reporter Sydney Long is live in Marlton with more on this. Sydney. Well, hey, Jackie, we were at a testing site earlier today, but we also did some exit polling here at a grocery store, and the proof may very well be in the pudding, so to speak, or the catering numbers. As the COVID case counts go up, so do tiny meal turkey day meals with all the trimmings. Rostelli's Market says as more families plan for a nuclear family, they used to have a minimum, but there's no minimum this year. Some of the catering orders are as low as just two people. We are well into a second wave now. And the question is, is how high is that peak going to go? Lines of people winding around the parking lot at Rowan College of Burlington County are being saliva tested for COVID-19. And close to 15% of them, according to health leaders here, will learn they have it. It's an alarming jump up from just 1% test positivity before Halloween. Father and son John and Christian Figueroa hope their hunch is wrong. He's been attending school in person and he came down with a couple of symptoms yesterday. I think people are getting the message uh, that testing is an important part of crushing the virus. Because of the high numbers, because of the approaching holidays, and because of COVID fatigue, Burlington County is expanding its testing, adding another day tomorrow. And beginning December 1st, they will also begin to test three days a week at a soon to be announced inside venue. I have somebody that is coming to our Thanksgiving dinner and they have submitted their test to me. From a huge rise in cases comes the plea to keep the number of people around the Thanksgiving table small. We went from um, seeing 8, 10, 12 parties of 16 up to 20, even 30 people for gatherings. Now where people are asking for two servings, four servings, six servings. At Rostelli's Market in Marlton, turkey breasts, even hams. 10 to 12 pound turkeys we can't even get right now. Are replacing large bird catered meals like we saw last year. Definitely tells us that people are staying home. People are definitely uh, a little uh, listening to the guidelines or getting a little bit more concerned with the uptick of COVID right now. Believe it or not, all of my friends got tested. Like we all got tested. So we're all negative and that way we're all celebrating together this weekend. Ryan Tucker says our Outside of her masked grocery visit, she's laying low. I work in the restaurant industry, so I'm used to the safety precautions of everything. Um, constantly washing my hands, constantly hand sanitizer. Now, we certainly won't be back to going grocery shopping without a mask until after people begin getting vaccinated and that vaccine sinks in in Burlington County. The vaccine could roll out to the general public by February, but we're told more likely it would be mid-spring. Doctors warn that being restless, reckless now will definitely have consequences and keep us in this cycle that we're so desperate to get out of. Reporting live in Marlton, I'm Sydney Long, NBC10 News.